everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, hi, I'm Jeanette and from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. In this video, one of the things that I wanted to do is I want to talk to you guys about the density repair module that is part of In Brilliance, okay? One of the things that I really like about this um, module is that it can really save you time and it can save you money in the long term because one of the things that it does is it eliminates unnecessary stitches. So I'm gonna launch um, In Brilliance and I'm gonna show you what I am talking about, okay? So I have my mouse, I have it all big and everything here. Okay, I just launched In Brilliance. I have a uh, eight by 13 hoop. I'm gonna change my hoop size. I'm gonna go under in brilliance, preferences. I'm gonna change the hoop size to a five by seven. That way I can actually talk uh, to a lot of people, especially those that have the Brother SC1900 or single needle machines, okay? So I'm just gonna keep this on a small hoop. Um, I'm gonna hit okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you right here in this section right here. One of the things that you get when you get the, 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 this particular module, and I'm going to move the camera a little bit and I want to zoom in so that you can see what I am actually pointing at. As right now where you see my cursor is, there's like a little vacuum cleaner. That is what you get when you get the density repair. Now before we do that, though, let me zoom out and I'm going to show you exactly what I am talking about when I'm talking about this particular module, okay? Because I like to be very thorough and show everybody all the steps and everything that I do. So I'm going to go into In Brilliance, okay? And as you can see right here in the beginning of Embrillance, when you first, um, you know, invest in this particular uh, embroidery software, the first thing you want to do is you want to start off with in, with essentials, okay? Um, and when you click on essentials, um, it basically tells you right here what are the things that you can do, which is you can merge designs, you can resize them. It recalculates the stitches as you go take an image to make it smaller or bigger, okay? and um, it removes overlapping stitches and it also helps you to print um, templates and also add lettering as well. But I'm gonna talk to you guys about this one right here that's right underneath, which is called the Density Repair Kit. Now, what I like about this is that it cleans up poorly digitized designs, okay, what that are overly dense. And they, you know, so in other words, when they have overly dense, that means it has, the, the design has a lot of unnecessary stitches in there. Um, and, you know, it, it really helps you to, to fix the, the, the design. So I'm going to show you exactly what it actually does. But anyway, but this is really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this particular module. After you purchase this um, and you have in Brilliance, you're going to end up getting this little vacuum cleaner right here. And this is, um, this is really, really helpful. So I'm going to make this a little bigger because I want you guys to see. So I'm going to play with some designs that I have purchased in the past so that we can take a look at it and see you know what it actually does all right so let's go look around I, I didn't um you know look on my own to see what i have um purchased and stuff i'm going to go under purchase design embroidery designs let me look through here and see i know i have something with the wine theme okay i have purchased this design this design i have not even stitched out yet so it'd be interesting to see how this is so i'm gonna open this design and as you can see it really doesn't it, it you know it will fit in your five by seven hoop you just have to like turn it to embroider it this way okay all right so there you go all right so Let's, let's play around with this particular thing and let's see what it will do. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that we can see everything. Now, I'm also going to um, expand the screen for you because there are certain areas that I want you to really pay attention to as we're playing around with this functionality, okay? One of the areas is going to be down here. And let me move the camera over there so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. 
right down there, okay? And I know you guys can see right here where I have my little mouse. This is where it tells you the exact amount of stitches that this particular design has. Right now it has 24,943 stitches, okay? And it see as you can see, it is pretty dense, okay? It's a pretty dense design, all right? Now let's go over up here, all right? And I'm going to actually write down this number that we just looked at right now that says 24,943, okay? Because that, that number is going to be very, very important as I show you this product, the number that you see right down there, okay? Where I have my cursor and I'm circling it. Now, when I bought it, this is how I got the file exactly as is, okay? I'm going to scroll back down, all right? Now, one of the things that I want to do, and I want to try to move the camera a little bit closer so that way you guys can get a really, really good um, look at what I'm doing, all right? Now, right here... There is also something called, if you click on this question mark, it's a project advisor. And one of the things that I liked about this section is that it can you can actually select right here the type of fabric that you're going to embroider on. So when you do that, okay, and as you can see, I, I do cotton a lot. And let's say I select cotton, okay? Well, when I selected cotton right away right here, it kind of gives you some advice. Okay, and I'm going to scroll this up right here, okay? Right here, what it tells you, it, it kind of tells you, like, what type of needle you should be using for your embroidery, okay? It should be a ballpoint, okay? You should be using 40 weight, okay? Now, here it says you could use a size of 12 to 14. I always use a 7511 needle for my embroidery. The thickness of the fabric should be at least medium weight, okay? Now, when I selected this, my stitch count, okay, at the bottom of the screen, right here did not change, okay? It's still at 24,943. But one of the things that I wanna do is I'm gonna select this design that I just did. I'm going to click this vacuum cleaner right now, okay? I just clicked it, and now I'm going to scroll down here And I want you to see that my stitch count right now is less. It's 23,093 stitches, okay? So what does that mean? That means that it removed some stitches in this design, okay? So it removed about, let's see, I'm going to say... 1,040 stitches was removed from this design, okay? So that's a lot of stitches, okay? That's like, a, you know, that's over a 1,000 stitches that got removed from this using this um, density repair, okay? Means that this could have been digitized a lot better so that way, you know, it, it doesn't get as dense, all right? Now, this is a thing that is really important that I want people to really understand is when you, you know, I, I understand, you know, buying a product, whatever, you know, you're spending all this money, but this is the thing. This is why I really think this module is really worth its, its value in gold. Okay. You click this whenever you buy a design, you click on this. It's going to check to make sure that there, there's no unnecessary stitches. Okay. If you are stitching something, all right, and right now you already know that when you bought it off the box, okay, when we downloaded it, it was 24,943 stitches, okay? So that's a lot of stitches. But when I ran this density repair, it went down to 23,903 stitches. So that's over a thousand stitches, like I said before, that is eliminated, all right? So just think, that's thread that you're not utilizing unnecessary thread that you're not using and also it cuts down on the time that you are embroidering this design okay so that means that you save money on the time and you also save money on your thread as well okay so i just wanted to do this really quick video and show you guys about the density repair kit in brilliance 
I honestly think that this is something that is highly overlooked, um, you know, when people, you know, are using in brilliance. Um, right now, I see that that it's on sale. I really think it's worth the money. You know, um, you know, I purchased it. I love it. But I really wanted to show you guys in debt what this does because I really think it is very, very valuable to, you know, it's, and this really counts, you know. So I want to look at another design. Let's look at another design so that we can just see how this can really, um, really help. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's just go through my designs over here. Um, I know through baby blankets, sometimes I buy, um, I sometimes buy, let, let me get a, a design that I purchased, okay, let's see if I can find one, these are all that I've modified, I want to try to get a blank one, let's go to kids, under kids design, sometimes in kids design, I have a whole bunch that I have not used yet, um, Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Okay, hold on guys, just hang in there with me. I just wanna make sure that I show you guys a design. That works. All right, let's go to this one. Let's see what happens, okay? These are one of my kitchen towel designs, and I know that it's a little bigger than the hoop, okay? But that's okay. Um, I just want to I just want to see how it stitches out, okay? Now, um, right now, right down here, you notice that it's red because it doesn't fit in the hoop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch to an 8x9 eight, uh, eight hoop. I'm going to hit apply and hit okay. As you see, the red down there went away because that means that the, the design fits. I'm going to highlight this, okay, right now. Um, and let me just scroll in so that you guys can see. And I'll put you down here so you guys can see. Right now, we're looking at stitches that are 25,788, okay? So I'm going to go back in here. Uh, and let me uh, scroll you guys back in here. Let's hit that vacuum and let's see what happens now. Okay, it did take it down a bit. All right, um, if you notice, look at that right now. Now it is 25,028. Uh, okay, so that is actually 760 stitches that it's eliminated from there, okay? So, I mean, I have had some designs that, you know, I've purchased that, over, like, you know, like before, over a thousand stitches were eliminated. Like I said, you know, that sti unnecessary stitches, why stitch, um, why use a thread if you don't have to? That's just the point that I just wanted to make. But anyway, guys, just hope, you know, I just wanted to sh make this video and show you guys what this um, particular module of Imbrilliance does, I really think it's um, it's worth um, taking a look at. You know, if that's something that that's important to you, I know I know me time and and money is important. So I just wanted to share this with you. Okay, so guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do also host um, Embroidery Happy Hour every Friday at eight o'clock. And we also have a Facebook group called Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures. Please consider joining. It's a fun group. We love to share things that we do. So you guys have a great day. Have a good one. Bye.